What's going on guys, you're in with Hardy Tech, and welcome back to Pokemon Light Platinum, the Nuzlocke Run. In the last episode, we did some grinding, got everybody up to a fancy level 40, and today I believe we're going to be taking on a gym, which is a ground type gym. I'm actually somewhat confident about this gym, I think Orange will be able to do a lot of good work. Plus we got Keckles, who has Levitate, and we also have Mosquito V2, who has Levitate, so we got a lot of things floating in the air for unknown reasons. Wait, does Mosquito have Levitate? Yeah, okay. So, um... For those of you wondering, I am not home yet. I am currently on my way home. Um, I've been driving like, what, I think I left this morning at like 1 a.m. and it is 4 p.m. right now. I just got to my hotel and the very, very first thing I did was like, I want to record a video because I miss talking to you guys very, very much. So, um, I would be home, oh, wait, what? Hey, I'm sorry, but this gym is temporarily closed because this leader is working in a grommet mine, so he can reopen it. If you like, I can give you a ticket for the museum instead. Hardy got the museum ticket. Oh, um, does the museum give out badges? Because that's kind of what I was looking for. Okay, well, I guess we're going to the museum instead, which is okay, I suppose. Um, the main thing I want to do is I want to get Mosquito till 45 because I want a fly gun. So, I'm, oh, okay, I see. It's, it's a Team Steam thing. So, why did you guys just let random evil villains just walk right on into the, um, the museum exactly nobody ever considered hey maybe we should stop them that never occurred to anybody here okay so minimize faint attack will counterize counteract that minimize perfectly wonderful move oh wow we got a ton of XP from that and a haunter we could stay in and we can faint attack again man why did we get oh that did a lot of damage though do we have a lucky egg is that why we got so much XP I'm assuming we do I don't want to risk staying in because of how much damage we took from that though so let's go with the rusty um for those of you wondering why i didn't have any videos the past few days um i've been sick you know i, I was supposed to leave like wednesday i think is when i was supposed to leave mississippi and um i ended up getting sick like the day i was supposed to leave and i was sick for like three days and then before i left mississippi i went to alabama to go visit a friend and then i finally or once i stop being sick i went to alabama to visit a friend and we played super smash brothers and it was the greatest time of my life it was amazing i loved it so much and um oh i forgot to heal up um basically i was sick i was with a friend now i'm here because i missed you guys and i just want to play pokemon and literally i've been just i'm like i was waiting and waiting and waiting to get to my hotel because i've been wanting to play this so bad because i missed you guys and i wanted to make videos and i, I miss making videos and it's so much fun so hopefully you guys are still here with me and i i know my commentary, I don't know why, but I feel like really awkward right now. And that's that's not normal for some reason. Um, I don't know why I'm, I'm feeling like this, to be honest. Um, normally I feel natural when I'm doing commentaries. For some reason, t today just feels very different. I feel very awkward for some reason. And I, I can't explain why. And I also feel like my voice sounds different. Maybe maybe it just sounds different in my head right now. But um, it seems different for some reason and I, I don't like it so hopefully it doesn't sound different to you guys um anyway so i got i got a story to try and tell and we all know how it goes and i try to tell stories when i'm playing pokemon so hopefully maybe i can actually get this story out today so um if you guys should be aware if you've paid any attention at all to like the past month that i've been on a, some big road trip visiting many different people and having an amazing time and for the most part this entire trip has been absolutely fantastic except for one part the driving um and overall you know driving isn't that horrible i like driving for some reason i don't know what it is about it but driving always is fun to me you know until you start doing it for like 12 hours straight then it's not as fun but um i've ran into some trouble while driving with the law yep hardy is now a criminal i've been in trouble with the law and um sadly it wasn't anything that spectacular for some reason i'm like a cop magnet i don't know what it is about me and apparently also the cops seem to think that i'm like a druggie or something but um let's get to the story so when the very first when the trip very first started and i was on my way out to tennessee when i was in arkansas for some random reason i was going to the speed limit was like 70 and i was going 72 which eh, you know it's it's two miles over it's not a big fucking deal and there was cars on both sides of me i was in the middle lane on like a three-lane road and there was cars on both sides of me that were going faster to me which the speed limit was 70 and they were probably going at least 75 to 80 and for some unknown reason of all the people a cop decides to pull me over me yeah that the one going 72 miles an hour people on both sides of him going faster and i get i get pulled over 
and um, the cop says, you know you were going 72 and the speed limit is 70, right? I'm like, yeah, I'm sorry. And for some reason, because he pulls me over because I'm going 72, he then decides he needs to search my car for drugs. I don't know why. I don't know what I did. Oh, we got a boss battle coming up. Um, yeah, you know, whatever. I don't know what I did to deserve this, to randomly be decided. Oh, shadow tag you. I don't even have to bother looking. You're going to have shadow tag, but I got crunch, so ha <laughs> joke is on you. And okay, that was awkward. Um, joke is on me, I guess. Anyways, so wow, that did a ton of damage. What the heck? Okay, let's heal up. Um, tail Whip is scary. Spark, hopefully. Glide. Uh, I don't know what that does, but another spark will kill it. Wow, Slash is so powerful. It's such a scary move. Uh, let's go into Rusty this time, who I definitely know can handle Drift Blim. Anyway, so for some reason this cop decides, because I was going two miles over the speed limit, that I must be on drugs. So he ma this makes me go stand on the side of the freeway as he searches my entire car for drugs or I assume for drugs I don't know he obviously didn't find anything and I was just a very very odd situation very that was just the first run-in with cops I should hope you know so um, this morning I um, um, the, this morning when I began driving I decided to start driving at like 1 a.m. because I I much prefer driving when there's not that much traffic and there's not that much traffic at 1 in the morning so I begin my driving on my way back to California, and at the, keep in mind, the road is completely empty. I'm like the only one for miles and miles and miles, and I decide that it may be a good idea to have a drink of water, and I had some water bottles in my back seat, so I figured, well, there's no one on the road, so keeping my eyes on the road and one hand on the wheel, I reach, I gotta keep playing, I reach back to grab a water bottle out of the back seat of my car. And as I do this, I accidentally swerve just a little, nothing major or at all, you know, just a tiny little swerve. And of course, at the exact moment this happens, a cop sees this. He's like, a cop, I just happened to pass a cop who's in some kind of hiding space, I guess, waiting for people to speed by. I was going to speed limit, by the way. I just happened to swerve just a little bit because I was reaching into the back seat of my car. And he sees this and he decides, can we get you? I'm gonna work in the mines. Where's the freaking mines, you piece of poop? Okay. Anyways, so uh, is the mines over here? Where are the mines? I wanna go mining. Oh wait, what is this? Is this the mines? This is Grumet Mines. Oh, we can catch a Pokemon here. I will resume that story in a second. It's a Golbat. Ooh, I. That's cool. I guess you know. I I I actually don't mind Crobats. Crobats are pretty awesome. So um. Anyways, this cop sees me swerve just a tiny little bit, going to speed limit, and he decides that he needs to get his panties in a bunch, and he needs to chase me down. And he follows me for about two miles. I, I see him in my rear view mirror, and I'm just like, okay, it's a cop, whatever. I'm going to speed limit, and I'm not doing anything wrong. So he follows me for about two miles, and then all of a sudden, he puts on his lights. And I'm just like, oh, God, I'm not doing anything wrong, you horrible person. Um, one second. What should we name Gobat? Let's nickname him... Um, I, I don't know, it's a nickname of Pete. I can't think of anything else at the moment. I'm distracted because I'm actually... Okay, we'll nickname him Pete. Um, <laughs> anyways, let's try this again. Um, so this cop this randomly for some reason decides to put on his lights and pull me over. So I pull over to the side of the road. I'm sitting there. It's like 4 in the morning. And I'm just like, oh god, what did I possibly do to deserve this? Wait, what does he have out? Okay. Uh, let's send it Keckles. So he comes up and he says, you see, I saw you swerving around and he, for some reason, because he saw me swerve around just a little bit, he somehow became under the impression that I was intoxicated. So he makes me get out and take a breathalyzer test and like walk the straight line and do the alphabet backwards, which for the record, I can't freaking do the alphabet backwards and I'm sober. I, I get like Z, Y, X. Q. I don't freaking know, okay? But <laughs> I passed everything else. I passed the breathalyzer test. I walked a straight line just fine. And this is like, why is this happening? Because I accidentally swerved. All of a sudden, I'm like some huge freaking alcoholic dude. But, um, and then he, once again, just like the other guy, for some reason, he looks at me and he decides, oh, I'm going to search your car for alcohol. 
And so he makes me go sit in his police car as he searches my car at four, th at four in the morning for alcohol because I swerved reaching for a bottle of water. Obviously, he didn't find anything. But... <laughs> And he didn't even apologize, he just, he's like, okay, you're clean, get out of here. Well, he didn't actually say that, but that pretty much the gist of what happened. Oh my god, I thought that said, um, Murkrow. Wow. Dirt moment on my part. Um, uh, ah, come on, Orange can take hits for days. It's ridiculous how many hits this thing can take. Anyways, so, and if that wasn't bad enough, it's not over there. That's right. Yet another incident with the cop. I was just randomly driving off today. I had just gotten some lunch and I pulled back onto the freeway. And as always, you know, I'm a relatively safe driver. You know, especially after like the two incidents I already had, I was definitely like extra, extra careful. That was on like my best, like my best driving. I wasn't going like one mile over the speed limit. I wasn't swerving at all. I had like, all five of my hands on the wheel. I was. Just, I was very, very focused and very, very determined to do like a freaking amazing job of driving and to be the best driver in the world. So I pull out of Burger King today after getting some lunch, and all of a sudden, I look behind me, and there's a cop tailgating me. He doesn't have his lights on, nothing suspicious, he's just literally like two feet away from my back bumper. And I'm like, okay, well this is weird, maybe I'm just in his way. So I switch lanes, and he's thinking, oh, he'll just pass me. He switches lanes with me and he's staying right on my tail. I have absolutely no idea why. The speed limit's 65, I'm going 65. There's cars passing me on both sides once again, proving that there are people going over the speed limit, and the cop is just infatuated with me for some reason, and I just don't understand why. And eventually, I'm becoming really paranoid because for 10, I think my phone's ringing. I don't care. Um, I'm sorry, that was very, distracting. I, this has been a very odd commentary so far because I rarely ever tell stories and now I'm actually doing it and it's freaking me out, but oh, hyper beam, that's scary. Uh, don't do that. Don't, that's even worse. No, 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 no. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. oh my god, deja vu. The original mosquito died by a Pokemon using self-destruct. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Why? No! Oh. I'm never gonna have a Flygon. That is just so ironic that it just happened to die to self-destruct as well. Uh -huh. Anyways, back to my story. Um, so this guy's just... He, this cop, for some unknown reason, doesn't put on a siren or whatever, just stays right on my bumper for like 10 miles. I'm not even exaggerating when I say 10 miles. He's... I, it's freaking me out so much because I'm still paranoid because I'm like, okay, if I go one mile over the speed limit, I'm screwed. There's a cop on my tail and he's just like wanting to arrest me or something. I don't understand what's going on, but it's freaking me out big time. And, um, ooh, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, now the mosquito's dead, I could use Golbat. Um, anyway, so I'm like, okay, I gotta freaking shake this cop. So I find just like the next exit, I decide I'm gonna get off here, just see what happens. So I get off the exit. I look in my rear view window, the cop is following me off the exit. It's like, okay, that's still freaking creepy, what the heck is going on here? So I pull into a Burger King parking lot, considering the fact I just had Burger King right before all this happened, it was like, there's so many freaking Burger Kings in this world. But um, anyways, why in the world did I stay in against a dog van? I'm distracted, <laughs> it's not a good thing, but I need to finish this story, because it I'm actually like doing it. I'm telling a story. I feel so proud of myself. Anyways, I pull into a Burger King parking lot. I park my car and I get out of the car. The cop follows me into the parking lot. He circles around the parking lot, slowly drives by my car, leaves the parking lot, and goes back onto the freeway. Did this say Murkrow or Macho? Because I made this mistake last time. Um, that just why? Why was he following me? Oh, it said Marowak. I keep thinking Marowak is Murkrow. Man, I'm just very, very bad at reading today. Um, but yet, there's absolutely no reason why this cop should have been following me. I did absolutely nothing to be followed. I was going to speed limit. I was doing nothing wrong. For some reason, the three cops decided, to three completely different cops in three completely different states, decided that I'm some huge major criminal and he needs to be pulled over and violated and have my car searched. 
I don't understand what I ever did to deserve this from our fantastic policemen, but I very much don't like cops anymore, and I'm very paranoid about cops now, so, um, is this this, wait, is this the same area? Oh, it doesn't matter, it's too bad anyways. I was just checking, it's granite caves, grommet mines, whatever. Um, so, yeah, cops, they're just the devil of people now, I don't like them anymore, and... I don't understand why those things happened to me when they completely ignored people who were going over the speed limit and decided to just focus on me and I can't wait to say, I never thought I'd say this, but I can't wait to get home because I've never had a problem with California cops before. It's just these stupid other state foreign cops that for some reason hate me and I don't know why and it's just not fair and I just want to be left alone, but no, they have to make my life horrible. So. Hopefully tomorrow I will be back in California and it'll be a wonderful, magnificent time because I won't have to deal with these horrible cops anymore, so. Anyways, enough of that story. Wow, I can't believe I actually managed to get through the story. Um, like I said earlier, <laughs> this is not another story. It's just things to talk about while I play Pokemon because there's not a lot going on right now. I'm just killing a bunch of Onyxes and it's very... Rep Ooh, Shield Fossil. Oh, that's right, um... Apparently the Pokemon we're supposed to get in the Gromit town or whatever is a fossil Pokemon. And apparently we can actually get in, uh, not an Archaeops, I think it's what evolves into Archaeops, Arcan, Which would be really awesome because we could use a Rock type and we could use a Flying type. Although we did just get Golbat, so I'm actually considering using Crobat because they're pretty freaking bulky. And they're very fast and their attack is decent and I've, I've had decent luck with Crobats in the past. You know, I had one in Emerald and I had one in... Fire Red Omega, I believe, or was that just a Golbat? I don't remember if he reached Crobat level or not. Um, I have bad memory. <laughs> I'm sorry, Awesome Bat. That was his name in Fire Red Omega, I believe, and um, such an amazing Pokemon. I miss Awesome Bat. He was originally named Failure Bat. For those of you who never watched my Fire Red Omega Nuzlocke, I ended up getting a Zubat, and I believe I named him Failure Bat or Fail Bat. And then um, I ended up having to start using him, and he turned into this just monster tank of a Pokemon. So I had to rename him into Awesome Bat. And, oh god, this is getting really scary. I need to heal up Orange really badly. I can't risk... If I lose Orange, I am screwed, because I will have, like, nothing to use in this next gym. So, and I'm still carrying around a dead Mosquito, so... Poor guy, just doesn't stand a chance. Um, okay, everybody's all healed up. Where is the rest of these... Fossils. Where is the frickin' gym leader? Dang it, are we ever gonna find him? This is ridiculous. Um, anyways, the, I don't even remember what I was just talking about. I got completely distracted um, by what, what was going on in the game. Oh, I was talking about Awesome Bat. I don't know. How did I even start talking about Awesome Bat? Whatever. It doesn't matter. So, we gotta find a fossil that turns into Arkin because I want the fossil that turns into Arkin. Wow, you actually happen to drag out the one Pokemon that you're super, super duper weak against. Congratulations, you're so smart. Um, I don't have any grass types, which, oh, I miss Dorito. I guess we'll just stay with Orange, who's going to be, uh, actually, he probably won't be that overleveled, because I think the gym leader's highest Pokemon is, he has two level 45s, I believe, so even after all this, Orange is still kind of underleveled, although be honest, a Water Pulse and Ice Beam will probably sweep, although he has an Excadrill, and that's really, really scary to me. Excadrill is a scary, scary monster for Pokemon. I believe it's level 43, and they're just, they're Pokemon you really don't want to mess with. I don't know if you got, I, you guys know who Excadrill is. Why am I trying to, like, describe him to you? He's a major powerhouse, and I'm very afraid of his Excadrill, so... I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do against it. Maybe use um, Crocorork and Crocodile and go dig? I don't know. It's very... I really just... I got to try to put some strategy in this because I'm like, I'm so close to actually doing good in a Nuzlocke even though I'm like only not even like halfway through the game and I'm, I'm here thinking oh my god I'm actually doing good for once in reality I'm probably doing very horrible and I just don't realize it so anyways um yeah man I still feel awkward I don't know why like what it is that I'm doing but for some reason I feel very awkward right now and I don't like it I really don't like it and I hope it's not affecting my commentary hopefully I'm look at that dialogue that that dialogue oh yeah that, that's my kind of guy right there. 
Um, so, anyways, um, oh, oh, so now you're gonna talk. Hey, you're crazy. Get out of here right now. It's about to explode. One, two, three, now. I, uh, I learned a little bit about explosions earlier. Thank you for reminding me. Okay, that was very anticlimactic. I'm not gonna lie. This is disturbing. Can you stop shaking? Incredible, just incredible. These fossils are in perfect condition. Oh my god, is it Arkin? Sorry, but when I use explosives in the mine, they're dangerous to anyone nearby. I hope you're okay, but the night name's Atlas. I'm the Grumman City Gym Leader. Well, now that I finish my work, I'll return to my gym. See you there, trainer. Hee <laughs> hee. Can I just come and take these fossils or something? Or what's going on there? Uh, <laughs> so do I really have to walk all the way back out of here now? Do I have an escape rope? Because I really don't want to walk all the way back out of here after I just got down here. Please, escape rope. Oh, I do. Yay. Okay, so that means he's back in the gym and we're ready to take him on. So, as I was going to say, um, today when I was doing my driving, my very long amount of driving, normally when I do long trips, like when I drove out to Tennessee, I pretty much listened to music the entire time. And I decided to do something different today. And I listened to YouTube. I put on some YouTube videos. And I know that sometimes when people are driving, they'll listen to podcasts. Um, oh, that's right. Freaking, um, we got we to gotta put Mosquito in the box. I almost forgot. Um, I know some people listen to podcasts, and I kind of took a different approach with this. Um, I decided to listen to Black Light Attack. For those of you who don't know, he's pretty much... Oh, you do have my lucky egg. What are you doing with that? Uh, okay, we got to put him back in our party and take it off then. Um, for those of you who don't know, Black Light Attack is the reason I'm making Pokemon videos right now. He's inspi he's who inspired me to start making Pokemon videos. And I, I don't know what it is about that man, but there's just something about him that I can just listen to him... I literally listened to him for six and a half hours today. I just started playing his Mario Sunshine Let's Play, and by the time I stopped listening to it, I was on part thir 14, which each one of those is roughly three hours or 30 minutes. So that's almost seven hours of just him talking, and it entertained me the entire time, and I have absolutely no idea why it did. But it's so weird and it's so amazing. I, I love Blacklight Attack so much. And who should I bring? I. I think I should bring Pete, because he's a high level, he's a flying type, which I do need, um, and he's bulky, but he is low level, so I guess I'll put the EXP share on him, and then we'll go from there, so, I'm sorry, I'm gonna make this a rather short video today, but like I said, for some reason I just feel very, very awkward right now, and I feel like it's affecting my commentary, so, hopefully you guys enjoyed my story about cops, <laughs> um, let's just... Hardy versus cops. That's gonna be like the new thing. You guys remember Caterpie versus Dick Pinch? Now we're doing Caterpie versus cops. Let's do this, guys. Come on, Officer Jenny, you versus me. Let's go. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, next time I do videos, I won't feel like such an awkward mess. It's probably just because I haven't recorded in like a long time, and I, I don't know what it is. Hopefully, when I get home and everything's back to normal, I won't be so weird. Anyways, thank you for watching. Until next time, I'm Marty Tadio. Peace.